Hello, Kyle here reporting to you. Not happy this week. Visibly unhappy. This all started with an adult Happy Meal promotion that McDonald's just started this week with the Cactus Plant Flea Market. Now, this is a brand I think young hip people already know about. I haven't heard of them until these adult Happy Meals were on the table. Anyway, the toys inside are three freakish versions of classic McDonald's characters. And then, you know, this thing, which I assume is a mascot for the cactus plant flea market. I actually think this is kind of cool. It, it's corporate subversiveness, but also it's McDonald's. <laughs> it's just, it's the kind of thing that's highly appealing to depressive millennials such as myself. So I ordered one of these adult Happy Meals through Uber Eats. And um, I guess I should have just picked it up myself. I thought I would save time. I did not save money. At the end, it was a $30 order. Because here's the thing is you go through the, you go through, you buy everything. And it's like, okay. And then this charge and this charge, do you want a tip? And of course you want a tip and it gives you four tiers of tips. And so you pick the second tier. You're like, I'm not a cheapskate. I'm not going to pick that first tier. And then before I realized that was an $8 tip, I was like, did I just pay $8? Uh, I'm treating myself tonight. I said, so a long time after that order, the, fr <laughs> the first driver who was going to pick up the order just gave up and then it was just fell upon somebody else after that. But by the time it had arrived, I was excited. A big old bag, a big old McDonald's bag, cracked it open and inside are two regular Happy Meals with two small milks. And so what happened was an order was switched up. Somewhere in Raleigh, North Carolina, there are two children who received one adult Happy Meal with a four-eyed Hamburglar. Meanwhile, I received their Happy Meals. You know, this. Inside was not an adult toy at all. I actually thought this was cool at first. I thought this was Lightning McQueen mixed with French fries. But no, it's as you can see, it's just... You can kind of see Cave Lightning McQueen. So you could imagine my disappointment that I didn't get a four-eyed grimace. And you might just say, Kyle, just try again. But the thing is, what I ate was very bad. <laughs> what I, The food that I ate hurt me. Now, if you look at this box, you might see something that caught my eye. How to play. Here, I guess you can play along too. Scan it in. We all know. Do we know the the toy has no effect on the game? Does the game look like that? So we're going to turn straw into gold here. We're we're going to weave what I ate today into gold. <laughs> we'll see if this illusion is true. Does is there you know those gloves that you can use with your cell phone? They exist. You know, just like outdoor gloves, but they do have a little heat pad, and so you can use it. It does such a thing. No, there's no possible way. There's no possible way it knows that I have Cave Lightning McQueen. There's, there's going to be no confirmation. But I figure we should try the game anyway. Cave Lightning McQueen just has a... He's got big eyebrows. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's play. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh huh. Begin. And begin. Go. Go. All right, let's try my phone. I have had this experience 40 times in my life. 
you get some dumb toy and it's like, log on to this, download the, and it just doesn't work. Here we go. Yep, thank you. Can I go? Shut up. Can I go? It's really loud. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Can I go full screen? Let's play. Look at this. Place your toy below the line. Is it actually going to care? You know how hard it is to put a, a car on your phone? <laughs> Here we go. All right. Bro, please don't. 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 Oh, my God. All right. Now we back out of town. Reverse right out. I saw something. I saw something for one frame. I saw something. I can't be the only adult on the internet who's having issues right now. Here's what's messed up. You search Cars Happy Meal Game Twitter. Everything's about everything's about the adult Happy Meals I can't buy. Can I just play this in a browser? Maybe they won't know. Maybe they won't know. What's this about? Hey kids, this is advertising. Is it? Great job, your device is in landscape. So far, so good. Imagine Cave Lightning McQueen at the bottom of your screen. Why wouldn't it load this on my phone? Uh house haunted house or graveyard we'll do graveyard this is kind of cool hold on pause i want to hear this all right i'm in This isn't a game. All right, now this is a harder decision than it looks like. Dino Park obviously will have dinos. That's very cool. However, the stunt circus, I think, might do more interesting things with a first-person perspective. We got to do the stunt circus. Cannon. I don't know what to say. I really like this. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. We're just driving down the middle of the road. We're just we're just having a, a speedy little adventure. Salt flats or movie set? I've been to enough movie sets. Let's go to the salt flats.
uh, mechanic or clock? Clock. 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 Oh, so I guess if we clicked on mechanic, we could have made that guy better. That's our girlfriend, right? Thanks for coming along for the ride. Okay, so... Now we must review Cars on the Road, the Happy Meal game. Uh, game feel? 4.8. Game loop? 7.9. Gunplay? 6.1. Sandbox, 7.4. Gameplay, 8.8. .8. Altogether, I think I have to give this game a 2. This game gets a 2 on PC, uh, 0 on mobile, 0 on tablet. Uh, I can't recommend it for those platforms. Just so we're all clear, this this is how the game is presented. That's not at all what we got. You know what? It's never called a game. It's called an experience. I didn't want to swear in this video just in case a child legitimately wants to know if the game is good or not. <laughs> just in case an actual child, you know, like one of those two children who thought they were getting a Cars toy tonight. Maybe they just go to YouTube and they're like, is that game good? It's an experience. It's not good. You're not missing out. Enjoy my Hamburglar, please. To everyone else, thanks for watching. So, you know, I feel, um, I feel like a weird obligation. I feel like, I feel like just because of the position I'm in, the stuff that I make, the stuff that I have made, who I am, who I've been, who I will be, I'm expected to have an opinion about the Super Mario Brothers movie. And the debut teaser trailer launched today. And honestly, I thought I'd make a video about it. I thought I'd make a video like poking fun at it or, you know, finding. S but like the thing is, like, I, like I kind of liked it in a weird way. You know, obviously, I think we all check out when Chris Pratt starts talking. And it, it's more Chris Pratt than Mario, you know, but, um, no, man, I don't have like, I don't have a tinge of negativity about the Mario movie. Uh, like, it's like, do you want my opinion on Sing 2? I like it. Sing 2's got this lion named Clay Calloway, who's voiced by Bono and only sings U2 songs. In, in the universe of Sing 2... All of U2's music came from one person named Clay Calloway, and all of those songs were written about his wife at the time, who since passed. All of them. And so Clay Calloway today refuses to sing any of his songs, which are all U2 songs. It's a lot to take in. I think, uh, much like Cars... You can't... Don't think about cars. Don't think about this. What is a caveman car? What are the implications of this? Don't even, don't even get into it. The second you humor it... He's got stubble. I don't know. I know it's a good camera. Do you? Are you getting the stubble? The very second you start thinking about why... Cave Lightning McQueen... Would have stubble... It all falls apart. It all falls apart. It all falls apart.